Good day and welcome to the channel. In this short video, we are going to explain how to upgrade Veeam for Microsoft 365 Community Edition, better known as the free version. So a couple of things uh, you want to know in advance. Uh, firstly, uh, like any upgrade, probably want to turn off any antivirus you've got going. In my case, I'm simply going to turn off uh, Defender because that's what I'm running here. Real-time protection off. Not absolutely required, but it'll make things faster and avoid problems. Next thing is make sure you go through the README. So in our case, we're going from Veeam 700.3604 to 7.1. And you can see that is about six months. And has anything changed? Probably. So there is Veeam 70A, better known as build 7.1. And we can do this two ways. One, we can click download and install it, or we can click the upgrade in the top left-hand corner, and it's suggesting we go to Veeam 700438, at least first. So this is the safest way to go, so I'm just gonna have the GUI upgrade itself. And you can see here, I'm going to get to what's new by clicking the what's new link. <laughs> and it's going to tell me all about it. In particular, what I wanna look for is uh, upgraded features and minimum requirement changes. I've already looked through this and I don't see anything here that's too scary. But you may need to upgrade something like your .NET. And I'll go ahead and click OK here to get rid of that. And let's go look at the R&D forums here and go down to release notes for more details. And I can see here that this has something called system requirements, which game provides more information. So you can see here, server 2012, supported. Server 2008, not supported. Windows 7, not supported. Windows 8, not supported. Most versions of Windows 10, not supported. You're gonna be running at least 22H2, which is the build that Microsoft supports, so that just makes sense. And let's go to upgrading Veeam Backup for 365. And you'll see here, this has been a common theme with Veeam over the years. If you're running a beta of Veeam, you will have difficulty upgrading to the release version. You don't have much to lose, so I would do the upgrade anyway and see what happens, but it's not supported officially. And I can see here that upgrading from 7 includes the version I've got, so it's a bit odd it hasn't gone to it. But let's just run the upgrade like they say and see what happens. So I will click install. Yes, there is. And finish. And next, we just keep updating. And these are all click next up uh, installs, by the way. Well, at least all the ones I've done in the past. There you go, that should be all of the modules. I think there were just four. And let's start up Veeam. There we go. Let's try to upgrade again, see if we can get to 7.1. Nope. So 7.1 is available. I could go back to here. To this URL to download the latest build. This URL, by the way, will be in our comment section. Select download, 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 agree, accept. You see it's an ISO. If you're particularly young and you don't know, an ISO is just a disk image, an old DVD image. So those now mount automatically if you just open them in Windows 10 and 11. So there it is, and I double click on this or right click and run as administrator. Either way, update, Veeam's ready to install. Following operating systems are no longer supported. Seven, eight, I think we just went over that. Okay, and oh, I read that carefully. Oh, the console's open, good call. Close it, retry, and it's going to upgrade everything from the October build of 7.0 to the December build of 7.1. Click install. Now, the last time I checked, I think they said that the installs take about, at least these major in upgrades, typically take about half an hour for every terabyte of space you've got. So as it says here, this could take a significant time. We'll be back in a while. Well, let me assure you, that did not take half an hour per terabyte. That finished very quickly. That was about maybe five minutes. Okay, let's click Finish. Connect. And there it is, it's still a community edition. Let's click the hamburger in the top left hand corner, go down to help and support, I'll select about, and it now says 7.1, nice upgrade from seven. 
upgrade just to see if it found anything that we don't know about. No, there's nothing. And if you want to know how to perform a install of Veeam Backup for Microsoft 365 Community Edition, click the link in the top right hand corner because we have a video on that as well. If you found this video useful, please give us a big thumbs up. Uh, subscribe's also always appreciated. If you have any questions or concerns, please get a hold of us directly at www.urtech.ca. That's www.urtech.ca. Or you can hit us up by leaving a question or comment below on YouTube. And if we don't get back to you, somebody else will. Because on YouTube, everybody has an opinion. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.